Hello and welcome to a special episode of PC Building Simulator. The last time we did one of these special episodes, we built the best PC you could build for $2,000. If you missed that episode, I'll put a link up in the upper right hand corner. You can go check that out. Speaking of missing episodes, if you never want to miss another episode, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. You will get notified every single time a video goes live. It would help me out greatly and you'll never miss another episode. So in this episode, we are going to build the best PC you can build for $3,500. That's right, we skipped right past 3,000. Right past it, straight to 3,500. We're gonna build the best PC you can build for $3,500. Actually, we're gonna build two. We're gonna build an Intel and an AMD. We're gonna put them against each other after we overclock them and see which one does better. We've already built the AMD, or well, I already built the AMD system off screen, and we're gonna build the Intel one together. So let's get a case. We're gonna use the EVGA DG77. In black. So we've got a bigger budget. We're gonna use a nicer case. Let's get this case all taken apart. All of it. And I point this out every time, but if you haven't seen one of these videos before, the price of the case is off. This is a $160 case, $139 plus seven plus seven plus seven does not equal 181. It equals 160, 160. We will be off by, I think about $21 by the time we're done here. So we'll take those two fans that we took out of the front. Let's put them up in the top. They are more Tony heat away 120s. We need two of them. We're gonna put them right here. All right, let's start building this PC. Let's get going. We need a motherboard, obviously, to start off with. We're gonna go for the ASRock Z390 Tai Chi Ultimate. Which is 300 bucks. $300 motherboard. If you're building a $3,500 PC, you may as well put in a good quality motherboard. So we went top of the line with this one. We're gonna put in two sticks of RAM. We're also gonna put in, let's do fits this PC. We're gonna put in a 9900K. Not the KS, just the K. There we go. All right, we're also gonna put in two sticks of G-Skill Trident Z. RGB. 3200 megahertz, the eight gig. Two sticks. There we go. Let's get some thermal paste on the CPU and we can go ahead and we can get some storage in here. For the storage, we're gonna go with the A-Data Spectrix. It's the S40G RGB. We're gonna do the 512 gig where is it down here let's see where do we want to put that maybe up here it does light up it does light up so maybe you know maybe it'll look nice up there where we can see it all right let's grab a cpu cooler for this we're going to go atop of the line we're going to go with the nzxt kraken z73 the one with the temperature display on the front of it there. There we go. Let's get a power supply. We're going to use the EVGA Supernova. Uh, what? 750 watt. T2. There we go. Let's go ahead. Let's unplug this. Let's put the PSU mount back here. Let's put that on. Now we need a graphics card. Not just any graphics card. We're going to go with a top-of-the-line graphics card. 
We're going to use a Zotac 2080 Ti. We're going to use the Amp Extreme. Big old thick thing. Yeah. Ought to be nice and cool, though. Ought to be nice and cool. Let's see. We want to get the PCI lock on here. And I think we are ready to cable this up. Actually, what we need, we need a little more storage. We need a little more storage. So this build comes out to be just a hair cheaper than the AMD build. So we can put a little bit bigger hard drive on here. We can put a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda back here. The uh, AMD build that's over there that you can see now that only has a 320 gig because it costs just a little bit more to build and we didn't have quite the money. But, you know, in real life, in real life, you would just spend the extra $30 and get yourself a two terabyte hard drive. No big deal. Let's put a little bit of this case back together. Let's get this top panel on as well. And let's get this back panel on, because we have to unplug everything anyway to make it fit. There we go. All right, let's cable this up. Let's use some blue cables. Since this is an Intel build, that way we can tell it apart easily from the AMD. So basically everything is the same about the AMD build. It's got the same graphics card, same cooler that is using um, Trident Neo RAM instead of the Trident Z RGB because the Neo is supposed to be made for AMD Ryzen builds. And of course, it's got a different motherboard and a different processor, but everything else is the same. Everything else is exactly the same. We'll go look at it in just a moment. Let's finish getting this thing put together, though. Let's go ahead and grab a USB drive. Let's power this thing on. We'll hop into the BIOS. We're not going to overclock the CPU right now. Let's just turn XMP on, make sure we're booting from the right drive, and we'll let this thing go ahead and boot up. We are going to need some software, though, so let's get the GPU tuner. OCCT. The lighting app, obviously, and 3D Mark. All right, let's do the lighting app first. Let's select everything. Let's just make it all blue. There we go, all blue. Very nice. I don't know why I like these EVGA cases. I think they look great, though. It's a good-looking case. Good-looking case. All right. I'm going to get 3D Mark running on this because I just want to get a baseline of what this thing gets without any overclock or anything done. So we're going to come over here and look at this. I've already run a baseline test. This thing gets 12,745, not overclocked. Nothing fancy going on with it. So, as I said, we've got the same case. We do have a different motherboard. This motherboard was a little more expensive than the Intel motherboard. The Intel was $300 for the ASRock Tai Chi Ultimate. But the i9-9900K was $730, and this Ryzen 9 3900X 12-core was only $700. So that's where the $30 difference comes in. Got the same power supply, the RAM costs the same amount, same graphics card. This is where we've got the smaller storage, but we've got the same M.2 drive, same NZXT Kraken. These literally come out to be the exact same price. And we're going to put them against each other and see which one does better. We're also going to overclock them. Like I said, this one gets 12,745. Let's see what this thing gets. When this is done, is this almost done? It looks like it's just about done. We'll just let it run. Normally I step away, but since it's getting close to the end here, we'll just look at this beautiful PC while it works. 
And we'll see what score we end up with. 12,519. 12,519. So it's just a little bit lower than this one at 12,745. And that probably has to do with the extra cores. You've got a 12 core. What is this? This is 12 cores, right? 12 cores, 24 threads. Yeah, 12 cores, 24 threads versus eight cores, 16 threads. So that's probably where a little bit of discrepancy comes in. Just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step away. I'm gonna overclock both of these machines as far as I can get them to overclock. And once I have that, I'll come back and show you guys the overclock and then we'll run a 3D mark on them and see what we get, see which one wins, see which one you might wanna build. I'll be right back. All right, so we got both of the systems overclocked. I'm gonna show you what we ended up with here. For the CPU, we were able to overclock the 9900K to 5.2 gigahertz or 5,200 megahertz. And the GPU, we were able to go 230 megahertz over the core clock. Now, I mean, look at those temps. They're pretty hot, but nothing. I mean, the CPU wasn't thermal throttling or any of that kind of stuff. Well, let's go look over here at the Ryzen build. Also hot temps, but no throttling. The graphics card didn't overclock quite as far. We were 230 on the Intel build. This one is at 220, so very close. Very close, and we were able to overclock this CPU to 4,750 megahertz up from the 4,600 that it normally runs at. Again, running quite hot. Quite hot, but let's see what we end up getting when we run a 3D Mark. I'm going to get 3D Mark running on this system. I'm going to get it running on this system, and as soon as I have a score, if these things blue screen, because I have not run 3D Mark on these since I overclocked them, we get a blue screen or something i'll come right back and show you guys all right so there you have it the intel build got 14,053. amd build got 14,179. so very close very close almost within like a margin of error uh that's probably the higher score with the ryzen build probably has to do with the four extra cores and eight extra threads that you get, but it does have a little bit lower max overclock. This, if you need if you need overclock and don't need as many cores, this thing will definitely give you the CPU speed. So there you have it. Either one, honestly, either one is good. It just depends on if you are Intel or AMD at this point because they're so close together, it's not going to make much difference in a game. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Be sure to wash your hands, and I will see you in the next episode.